let's try to understand recursion by looking at the Fibonacci sequence using Python. So first of all, I'm going to create a program and we'll call this fib for Fibonacci py. Now I'm going to go ahead and open it with Notepad++ and then we're going to start by deciding how we want to do this. Um, what I think we want to do is receive a single integer and then do that many sequence numbers. So we'll do sys or import sys. And then we're going to first figure out what Fibonacci means. So the first number in Fibonacci sequence is one followed by a one. And then the third one would be the value of the previous two. So in that case, in this case, it'd be two. And then the next one would be the value of the previous two, which would be three. And then the previous two would be five. And then the previous two would be eight. And then the previous two would be 13. So you can see the sequence. So the first two are just ones. And then everything after that is just the value of the two added up. All right. So now let's go ahead and write the function. So we're going to write a function Fibonacci, Fibonacci, and we're going to pass in a position number. All right. So what we start with in recursion is the base case. So the base case in this case is these first two numbers that set us up. They're both going to be one. So if it's position one or position two, we want to just return the value one. So if position is less than or equal to two, so one or two, we want to return one. All right. Then we have the in inductive or recursive case. So in this case, we are going to look at like the two and we want to have it add the previous two positions. So we're going to return and then we call the Fibonacci again, Fibonacci, and we'll pass it the previous one. So position minus one plus Fibonacci with the position minus two. So the previous two positions, we're going to add them up and then we're going to return that as the value. So this is our recursive function. You can see that this function Fibonacci is calling itself and that makes it recursive. So now we need to figure out how many of these positions we're going to display. All right. So we're going to get that information because we have sys and we're going to get a variable right here. Positions equals sys dot arg v of one. And we're going to type cast that into an integer and we'll hope that it is correct and it does not crash right here. And in order to print out this many positions, we're going to want to do a for loop. So for, so let's do P in range. And we want to start with position number one. And if we go to just positions, we're actually getting a number that is going to be one less than where we want. So it's you plus one right there. And so that will get us the numbers from one to whatever number we pass in. So if we want to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, up to 13, we would do position seven. All right. Next, we want to print out these numbers. So we'll go ahead and get our value equals Fibonacci and we'll pass in P and then we'll just print this out print value we could format it into a nice line but we're just going to have each one on a separate line so this right here should do it if we don't have any mistakes we'll go ahead and run it um, if we look at the directory we are in this directory so I'll copy that and then I will jump over to my command prompt make sure I'm in that directory 
which it appears I already am, do a directory listing, and I'll run fib, fib with the number 7. And it looks like we are missing something. Oh, it's I instead of P. So we'll go back into our code and we will change this to a P. All right, save that. We'll go back and go ahead and run it. And we run this. And now we can see it prints out 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13. Exactly what we expected. We can even go a little further if we wanted and say, well, what is going to be the, the 20th? And you can see it goes much further and calculates out all these Fibonacci sequence numbers. So I hope this helps you understand how recursion works and how you can use Fibonacci as an example of, of how to do recursion.